After Napoli, a new occasion for hope and for work. Uh, and uh, this is the, the great occasion for Jews and Muslims, Christians, uh, Israelis and Palestinians to engage on the basis of these new agreements for a profitable new era of peace and, co and coexistence. Well, after Annapolis, they will get down to serious negotiations. I trust that this is the will and the determination both of the Israelis and the Palestinians, and as I can see also of the American administration, too late, but it's okay that it came. But uh, in my view, uh, the success of the post-Annapolis process lies with the degree of involvement, commitment, and determination of the American president. The United States can make a lot of difference. Without the United States, nothing will happen. If the United States gets fully involved, advances bridging proposals, and coax the parties into accepting them, not just throw bridging proposals and run away, you need to work on them, then there is a chance. Well, unfortunately, it's very delicate. Uh, and uh, I think that probably uh, one solution can come from the West, can come from Europe, can come from uh, European Muslims engaging together with uh, European Jews, showing the new generations in the Middle East that uh, we are brothers and we respect each other and we, can, we have to work and cooperate together. Well, it is. There is no doubt. Uh, I said in my lecture, that the solution of the Israeli-Palestinian problem should not be the panacea, but it is nonetheless important. One do doesn't assume that uh, when uh, you have Al Jazeera and uh, the Arabs and the Muslims throughout the Arab world uh, see every day uh, clashes between Israelis and Palestinians and closures and unemployment in Gaza and destitution in Gaza, this obviously has an effect not only on uh, uh, Islamic societies, but also in Europe among Muslim communities. We need to recognize that. So the solution of the Israeli-Palestinian dispute uh, needs to be a major contribution to calm down the tension that we see uh, all over. Well, I, I hope uh, that the role of the European Union can uh, have an active role in trying to make a um, positive mediation between different parties and help uh, a better knowledge and a better uh, um, attitude towards one another. Well, each side needs to understand what is uh, um, fundamental for the other side. Uh, we need to reconcile each other's mythologies. We are sometimes the, the, um, uh, the slaves of our own uh, mythologies. Um, we need to see that uh, the Palestinians need dignity, a recognition of their plight. Uh, they need a state that is fully contiguous, fully independent, and they, have to, and they have to have uh, uh, decent relations with the State of Israel, neighborly relations with the State of Israel, and with Jordan on the other side. So I think that they need to be a state with full rights in the international community. Otherwise, we are not going to have any kind of peace between us. And if they don't have a state, this will be the end of the State of Israel as we know it. It will become a binational state. That is, we will have a South African situation without a South African solution. Hopefully soon, but I'm unfortunately, I think that we have to work uh, still long, and uh, the majority of the hope is on the new generation. Well, inshallah, they say they will, uh, they will finish by the end of 2008. I wish they, they will. I, I really hope. Uh, the only thing that I uh, would advise them is not to try to invent the will, because the will is already invented. We know more or less where this peace agreement should gear around. We know it. We have worked on it. We have uh, negotiated in Camp David, in Taba, 
uh, we went through all the stages of the negotiations and we came to some conclusions. I wish they would build on the experience of the past and not try to invent the wheel. It's a problem for civilizations due to a misleading uh, use of politics and unfortunately due to the confusion of politics with religion. So one, we have to put everything in its correct order and so religion should inspire spiritually, politics should manage through ethics and then we will have an alliance and a dialogue between civilizations. I think it is everything. I think it is all. It is not true that it is just politics. It is politics, it is territory, but between us and the Palestinians it is also a clash of historical memories. You know, there is a difference between the Israeli-Palestinian dispute and say Israel-Egypt. With Egypt it is a real estate business. It's, we gave away Sinai and we got an agreement. With the Palestinians it's much more than that. It's about historical certificates of ownership, it's about refugees, it's about holy sites, it's about Jerusalem, it's about conflicting memory. Therefore, I think that by solving the Israeli-Palestinian dispute, we will be almost breaking the genetic code of the Arab-Israeli conflict. And this is why it is so important.